Well, I've got a few words about Leon Valley. And uh, I guess we'll start off with uh, some of the press stories. That's what kind of brought it about. We have a city manager who says she wants the threatening phone calls to stop and that they've got insurance to cover those civil rights or those rights violations. So apparently, they know they're going to violate civil rights, and that's why they got insurance. And she's good with that. Well, I want the threats to stop, too. And we never call for anybody to, to, to threaten anybody. That's not what we do. We stand on the Constitution and the law. And one of, I guess, our major thing that we do is to show the people of this country that many police departments and individual police officers are out of control and they're abusing their authority. They think they're our kings, for lack of a better word. I'm trying to keep this as nice as I can without, um, kind of hard. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a bit worked up. We have seen a police chief call our groups anarchists and they were only in it for the money. Well, the problem is the money's not worth it. It's not that much money. And when you go do lawsuits, you may end up with nothing. So it's not about the money. All those people with time that they've spent in jail or illegally detained is not worth the money. Sorry, I don't know if you noticed a little bit of a pause there, but I'm trying not to get mad. The threats, it looks like very well could have come from the police department and or their friends. And I wouldn't doubt if those threats were planned by that police chief and orchestrated by that police chief. Because he sure had it all figured out what he was going to do, which turns out to be all wrong. He overstepped his authority. He didn't care because I don't believe he didn't know he wasn't overstepping his authority. I don't think he gives a damn about the constitution or the law. And chief, you're the anarchist. Anarchists don't believe in the law or they believe they're not bound by the law and all your actions have proven that you are the anarchist and you are the one making the threats. City manager, I don't want those threats either, but it's your, it's coming from your city, your police department, your police chief. He's threatening us with 20 more counts of charges that he says he's working on. That's a threat. He's trying to scare people off. And he's done pretty good. One of the reasons I'm doing this, even though I'm in an area where you can come send your little thugs out after me, but I think I'm gonna go visit my police department and let them know what they you have done in the past and might do in the future, like coming after me. I haven't been to your police department, but this video may just make you overstep your bounds. 
again. Because I'm going to ask everybody that feels like they have they 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 need to or would be a good thing for them to show up at the meeting on Monday. There's a city council meeting. Apparently, part of it is they want to get twenty thousand dollars to investigate the fire department. Which, by the way, we do know quite a bit about what's been going on at the fire department. Now, they haven't said anything about investigating the police department. And I suspect if that has anything to do with that meeting, they'll do it in private, in closed session, so people won't be able to hear that. Uh, I know the city mayor has said that he didn't know anything about what was going on till the week after and when he was told about it by, I guess, the police chief or whoever it was. But we know better than that, too, because I know of two people that informed you. And, yes, we do have the emails that informed you of this. So you're no better. You are part of the problem. And I hope people of Leon Valley, especially the ones that already know how corrupt of government you've got, now is your time to go and air your grievances. There's a meeting on Monday, and there's telephone calls, and there's emails. And if you want to write a letter, there's a, you can do that too. And it's all perfectly legal. I could even call for a cough flood if I wanted to. And that would be perfectly legal. But I'm not calling for a call flood. I'm calling for those who believe that they should be heard to show up. Now, they probably will only let the people that live there say anything. And they may even stop you from doing that. But I think it would be good for people to show up that don't live there to witness how they, a city council acts in a corrupt district or in a corrupt town, even knowing what kind of corrupt, tyrannical, anarchist police department you've got. Now, the rest of this, and, and one of the reasons I'm upset is because what I mentioned when I go about the threats. And whether the threats came from the police chief working that thing out to where it happened, or it was just spontaneous by some idiots out there in the crowd who are probably cop suckers and just did it to be jerks or they're just crazy and the type that go around just to see what kind of trouble they can cause or they just got a big mouth and like to mouth off we got a lot of those but uh, a lot of people that are that were there are now saying they don't want to do videos about it they don't want to talk about it, they don't want to show up because they're scared of what's going to happen. And I can't blame them. We have a police chief that tried to get Jack Miller killed by having false statements <clears throat> made to get a warrant to search his home. That night, he made statements to the Kirby Police Department to try to get that Kirby police department worked up and scared that they were going into a dangerous situation. And he didn't have a, he, he wanted to get Jack killed, but that's not all the only people that might have been killed that night. It could have been his wife, his son, his daughter-in-law or their children. It wasn't too long ago that a, a young boy, I believe it was here in church, Texas was shot by a cop that even after all his training is too stupid to know 
where his shot's going to be. When you're shooting at something, I'm trained to shoot. I've shot competition for years. I know where my bullet's going to hit within a quarter of an inch almost every time. And we're shooting fast. And in that instance, there was nobody shooting back. But anyway, I digress. So because of the actions by that tyrant that calls himself a police chief, oh, and yes, we know you cheated, even though you finagled your way out of it. And we have a few more things that we know about you. And in fact, just recently, we got some more information. We also found out, or I found out, that on at least one occasion, and I'm sure there's more, that you all, you all, your, your department has stated that a certain video didn't exist, or a certain report didn't exist, and in this case, it's a video where y'all denied the existence of a video until we showed y'all proof that the video did exist. And then y'all came clean and sent it out. So here's a little advice to anybody doing FOIA request to the Leon Valley PD. If they say no and you have proof on your video, that that video does exist. You could see that camera was on and they deny giving that to you, turn them in. There are channels to do that. I'll leave that up to somebody else to explain because uh, I don't get into the legal stuff too much. That's why I do my best to, to surround myself with knowledgeable, good people, honest people that know how to handle these things. And when something's done, I like to know it's done right. That's why you surround yourself with people that know what they're doing. Uh, I wish, I do know, actually I know a lot more stuff, but I can't talk about it right now. I don't want to help that PD with the lawsuits coming up. And some of the information I have might help them. And some of the information I have, they're just as embarrassing as hell to some of those people in that police department, at city council, and in that building in general. There's another, you know, I'm going to touch on this other one later. I got something else I want to talk about. And that's uh, those people in black dresses that like to go around demanding respect and being called your honor. We'll get to them later. I'm sure I forgot something tonight. Uh, but if I did, I'll, I'll include it some other time. But they are doing everything they can to scare people off. And the those of you that are, I can't blame you. And I am not saying a word against you. I support you. And there's no problem with that. You're going for the lawsuits, and that's, that's good. You got them where you need them. They've, they've dug themselves deep, and they're not going to get out of it. I just hope some of them go to jail. And it doesn't just stop at the lawsuits. But we'll keep reporting. And when some of this stuff is over, we'll release some of the other information at the proper times. And we'll keep digging. And we'll keep doing videos. Until Leon Valley straightens out. And that is a legal and lawful threat to use everything we can legally and lawfully to bring you down because you don't deserve any respect. You don't deserve to even get paid what you're doing and the people of your city should run y'all out. 
We'll see y'all later.